All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our team call. So tonight we are going to talk about mindset, the power of vision and belief, the power of consistency, the power of personal development, and the power of having an unwavering why. And we all were talking and we were thinking that a lot of coaches on our team needed to hear this right now. Whether you're struggling in any aspect of coaching, I think that something that is going to be shared tonight is going to help you, to motivate you, and to inspire you. So I do have recognition, but I'm actually going to save that and I will just post that in our team page tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this party started and Sarah, you can kick us off. So go ahead. All right. I'm going to share my screen. I really just do this so that it keeps me organized. Um, so I'm going to talk, I'm Sarah. It's nice to meet those of you that are new to the team. Welcome. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the power of belief and vision. So this is really important and powerful stuff. And it's something that I don't think I really valued until I was probably about six months into my coaching business. Um, it sounds like a lot of fluff, right? Like I need to have the, a vision um, because it's not tangible. It's not something that you can necessarily touch. Um, so it's hard to sometimes see the value in that. So I wanted to start by kind of just touching on the power of affirmations and gratitude. And if you have, you know, been diving into your personal development, you know that, you know, daily you should be, if you're not at least thinking it, you should be writing out daily affirmations and gratitude. And this does a couple of things. So it keeps you on, in the right mindset. So when you are writing out, I am statements, I am strong. I have hit my income goal. I am a diamond coach. Whatever those affirmations are for you, those goals that you have set, that vision that you have created for yourself in the future, and you affirm them daily by writing them out and saying them out loud, what it does is brings, it sort of brings everything full circle because what we focus on expands. So it's kind of the idea of, um, you know, what you think becomes your reality. So if you think about that as a tangible thing, if you were doing these things daily and affirming them daily, that becomes really powerful stuff. And the second piece to that is gratitude. And when we think about gratitude, it doesn't have to be anything outlandish. It can be something really simple, like I am thankful for a mild winter sunny day, or I earlier this week wrote in my gratitude journal, I am thankful for a fresh bikini wax. I mean, it's the little things that, you know, seemingly maybe are insignificant on the day to day, but really, um, you know, help to put things into perspective because we so often get, it's easy to get lost in these big fluffy things. And, you know, really our happiness is rooted in these small things on the day to day. So the second piece to this, guys, is belief. So it has to be, you know, when we're extending invitations to people, when we're posting on social media, we have to believe deep down inside that we truly have something of value to offer people. We have something more than just a product. We have an experience. We have either a business opportunity. We have a life-changing opportunity for somebody's health. And part of that is that you are, part, you are proof that the products work or that they have made some type of impact on your life. So Ashley's an example. So is um, Sara or examples of people that have these incredible physical transformations. Natasha and I, I don't have a huge physical transformation from Beachbody. I just don't. When I found Beachbody, I was already at my goal weight. Most of my transformation is inward. Shakeology has made an impact on my life. Um, you know, those are the types of things that I share. So I don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily need to be a physical transformation in, you know, sharing how products, these products and the value that we provide in our challenge groups and through our team, how those have a positive impact on your life. Because once you have that experience, then it's easier to reach out, extend an invitation to somebody and really really feel that you have something of value to offer them. 
You also have to believe that people are going to join you. Um, going back to positive affirmations, if you're thinking to yourself like, gosh, nobody's going to join me for this challenge group then guess what guys, nobody's going to join you. But if you think to yourself coming into the month, I'm going to, you know, people are going to join me. People want to join me. I am a good coach. I have things to positive things to bring to people's life. Then they will, they will join you. So you must believe that a, you have something to offer. And that means that you need to find the personal value in it in yourself, right? And that you also need to believe that people are going to join you. And then lastly, you need to have a vision. So, you know, when I started coaching, you know, this sort of like digs deep into your why. But, you know, when I started coaching, I immediately saw this as an opportunity for me to break out of, you know, the four walls in my window that was my cubicle in my workplace and be you know, more present for my son as he was growing up. I immediately saw that I caught that vision and there was no stopping me. So when I had, you know, through the days, because trust me, there are days that you're not going to want to show up. There are going to be days that it's hard, but you have to have that really clear vision of where you're going. Now that I've achieved that goal, it's like, I have to create another vision for where I'm going to keep me motivated and to keep me driven every day. Because if I don't have that, it's difficult to propel forward. So get a really clear vision guys of what you want your future to look like. So whether that is, you know, you, it, we know the importance of setting, you know, short-term realistic goals, create a big vision for your life, create a big vision for what you want your future to look like. Where is it that you would like to be one year from now? three years from now, five, 10 years from now, and create a really, really clear vision of what you want that to look like. Um, and it can absolutely become your reality. So I'm gonna hand it over to, who's next? Sara, I think. Okay, um, I wanna share my screen now. Oh, I can't do it while you're doing it, Sarah. There we go. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about mindset and the power of personal development. Um, as an anecdote, I said to Ashley and Sarah and Natasha, like, we really need to have like a call on mindset because I'm really struggling and I feel like other coaches are struggling. And then we agreed to do it. And we were kind of brainstorming topics. And I said to my success partner, like, you know, I'm just in this negative headspace and I don't know what's going on. And she said, like, what are you doing differently? And it just like hit me, like I'm not being consistent in my own personal development. So I jumped at doing this topic because I truly do believe in the importance of personal development. We know that it's one of the vital behaviors and I know we hear it all the time, but I just want to reinforce it today because it can truly shift your mindset. Oh, there we go. Um, so I love this quote. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. If you are willing to put in the time to learn about the topics that you're struggling with, there is literally nothing that can stop you from being successful in this because you'll continue to grow. If you aren't willing to put in the time on the days that are hard, you will quit. It will become impossible because you won't have anything to help you rebound and become that positive, successful person that you need to be to be a good coach. You'll get stuck in those downs and you won't have the knowledge you need to come back from that. So whenever I feel like I'm struggling in my business, those are the times when I am not doing consistent personal development. And when my business was the best it's ever been, I was so consistent in my personal development. And I know that like any coach will tell you that. You will hear top 10 coaches who will tell you that. New coaches will tell you that. But personal development will always match your income. Your income will never exceed the level of personal development that you're doing. Okay, so I know we're like, who needs self-help help books? But you do. Yes, you need self-help books. 
I know it sounds so ridiculous to be like, like I always used to hate that section of the bookstore. I thought it was lame, but it's a vital behavior for a reason. So Beachbody did this interview with Shalene Johnson and we all know and love her. Um, and she like, she lays it out. Self-help books or personal development are like a shortcut to success. Basically, experts are laying out the answers for you for what you need to know. So if you're struggling with confidence, then you need to read a personal development book on confidence. Maybe you're struggling with inviting because you like lack that confidence. That's the area you need to go for your personal development. That might not be the area I need to focus on. So personal development has to be personal. So that's why sometimes it's not the best to just be like, oh, what personal development book should I read next? You really need to dig deep and think like, what do I need to work on? So for me, one of my big goals for 2017 is leadership. So my personal development focus is all books about leadership. So what's right for me isn't necessarily going to be right for you. So you really do have to think about what you want to work on so that it is a personal thing. Okay, so yes, you accept you need personal development, fine, but how can you best implement it? It's a super powerful tool, but you have to do it consistently. You can't just do it, you know, when you feel like it or once a week or when you remember. It has to be something that you schedule or you have a set time for every day. So maybe you just on your phone while you're brushing your teeth, you look on YouTube, personal development tons of videos will come up or you always always listen to a podcast on your drive to work or you read a book before bed but you have to schedule it into your day just like you do your workouts i don't know if you've heard the quote um motivation is like brushing your teeth you have to do it daily because it doesn't last it's the same thing with personal development it doesn't last if you just do it every once in a while you have to do it consistently so schedule it into your day and make it a priority. Um, Ashley's talked about how she fits listening to Audible in all the whole, like, holes in her day. So when you're cooking, when you're doing laundry, when you're taking a shower, Audible or podcasts are a great way to fill that time so you're maximizing your potential, basically. And I just want to say, we are so committed to being fit. But when you finish a fitness program, you're not like, okay, you know, I've reached my goals. That's it. I don't have to exercise anymore. This is awesome. When you finish a fitness program, you start a new one. You keep going. So it's the same with personal development. It's like your mental fitness. You can't just finish a book and be like, okay, well, there we go. I'm fixed. I'm awesome. I'm ready to go. You have to keep doing it just like you do with your workouts because it comes down to the compound effect, which I hope most of you have read. If you haven't, I know you're reading it now because you're a new coach. So those small things will add up over time, which is why you need to keep doing your personal development. That's all I got. So just make sure you're scheduling that into your day. If you ever need recommendations on specific topics, there's tons of ideas in our group files. You can always ask your coach if you Google you can find so many books. Um, and so there's always lots of resources in our team page and on the internet for you guys. So I will stop sharing and pass it off. Natasha, you can go next. All right, I'm gonna share my screen too. If I can figure it out. Crap. It should be down at the bottom, Natasha. Yeah, it's the new computer problem. Can you see my screen now? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. Okay. So I want to just talk a little bit about the power of an unwavering